The Washington Post reports that a landmark federal study has found that women who take a popular hormone replacement drug after menopause not only increase their chances of getting breast cancer, but also seem to face an increased risk of dying from the disease. The study of more than 12,000 women who were followed for about 11 years produced powerful evidence that deaths from breast cancer were more common among hormone users, apparently because their cancers had already started to spread. For years, doctors recommended that women take hormones to alleviate symptoms of menopause, to protect their hearts, and generally remain more youthful. But eight years ago, the federally funded Women's Health Initiative revealed that hormones' benefits were outweighed by risks, including heart disease and breast cancer. Hormone use plummeted by more than half, although millions of women still take them. The new analysis by the Women's Health Initiative, published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, found that women who took the combination of estrogen and progestin, sold as Prempro, were more likely to have tumors that appeared to be larger, were often hard to treat, and were more likely to have spread to their lymph nodes. But most important, their risk of death appeared elevated. Coupled with research published last year that found that women who took hormones were about 70% more likely to die from lung cancer, the new findings underscore the risks posed by therapy. The new breast cancer findings surprised even some experts who have remained more supportive of hormone use. Hugh Taylor, chief of reproductive endocrinology at Yale University, said, quote, This really is a paradigm shift. There was a whole group of people, including myself, who had been thinking hormone use was associated with an increased detection of breast cancer, but not necessarily an increased risk of death from breast cancer. But this really nails it.